you there at the White House where the president made his remarks. Is this enough? President Trump, of course, already facing criticism from Democrats that this is just too little too late following the Charlottesville tragedy from over the weekend. Now, earlier this morning, Vice President Mike Pence saying in to NBC News, uh, first denouncing white supremacism as well as neo-Nazism and the KKK. But I can tell you that President Trump faced pressure from the business community when Ken Frazier, the Merck CEO, resigned from the president's manufacturing council. That prompted less than an hour later for the president himself to tweet out an attack against Mr. Frazier for resigning from that board. Then, of course, he faced uh, public comments from several prominent CEOs, including Apple CEO Tim Cook. Now, David, just over the last couple of minutes, some new headlines uh, crossing over the terminal. Uh, GE Chairman Jeff Jeffrey Immelt uh, has said that he will be staying on the president's manufacturing board. But take away the business community for a second. Republicans in Congress, top Republicans from Senator Orrin Hatch to, to Senator Marco Rubio to the House Speaker, all right. urging the president to have come out uh, for a more well, forceful response. Yeah, well, that's really what I wanted to talk to you about. We'll get to the corporate reaction. Well, let's talk yeah. about the Republicans, because one of the things that was really remarkable over the weekend was the number of senior Republicans. Republicans like Orrin Hatch, who came out and really went after the president, saying, you didn't go nearly far enough. Orrin Hatch actually referring to his brother who died fighting the Nazis, saying, I didn't have my brother die to watch this go on in the United States of America. Will this be enough to bring the Republicans back on board? Not surprising the Democrats are attacking. What about Republicans? Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see. Of course, the president speak, uh, speaking just wrapping up moments ago. But I can tell you that just the pressure that these Republicans uh, put on this White House in order to, to really get him to issue more clear of a response denouncing these hate groups. We should also note that the president saying that they have, will open up a civil rights investigation led, of course, by Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who called this an issue of domestic terrorism earlier today. He met with President Trump along with FBI Director Christopher Wray at the White House before the president made his remarks. Now, later today, we'll be hearing from the president again as he signs an executive memorandum uh, on China and trade policy.